Please, please don't watch with the colons. Please, please, please. If it does, I'm- No! Hey, my little peach roonies, and welcome back to another video. Welcome to a cast Monday. We're gonna do a cast challenge today as well. And it's kind of an interesting challenge. This challenge could go really wrong really easily and end up really weird. I'm just gonna warn you guys in advance. Also, if I look tired, it's because Lexi has discovered she's a morning person. And by morning, I mean like 6, 7 a.m. She's like, yep, I'm there. Also, apparently toilet training isn't important anymore. So that's really fun as well. But yeah, if I look stressed and tired, it's because I am. So let's explain a little bit about today's challenge because I am doing a wheel decides my breeding. <laughs> Pairings, breeding, ships. A wheel decides my ships. I don't know, but basically I've got a load of male sims here. I've got a load of female sims here. I know that you don't necessarily ship male and female sims together, but for the sake of making babies and sims, I'm just gonna do it this way for now. I might make it so that sims can impregnate each other and we can do... I'd have to do everyone on a big wheel then and we might end up with the same person twice. I don't know, it could get even weirder, but but I'm kind of there for that as well. We're keeping it more simple today. Boys here, girls here. Basically, we spin the wheel, we spin the other wheel. We see the pairing and we see the resulting child because kind of what we do on this channel quite a lot. Also, there's family members here. I kind of don't know whether to do this on like ultra challenge mode where no matter what happens, if they, if they both, if I get one of each, I have to do it. Like I don't get to decide, no, that's really weird. What I think I'm gonna do is if they're direct family members, no, if they're, no. Oh man, what if it's like grandfather and grandchild? I don't no, for the purpose of this challenge, maybe we make everybody other than direct family members. Equal playing field, everyone's the same age, no one knows each other. And we're just keeping it to adult theme. Adult sims, alive or dead. Basically, we're gonna add them, put them in casts, make a little babble of rule. Let's get the show on the road. If you guys enjoy this challenge, please don't forget it to give a big what? Please don't forget to give it a big cheeky thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit subscribe. Ding that little notification bell so that you never miss a video. Okay, let's go ahead and do our first spin. Please don't be weird. Like, all I'm asking for no weirdness. First up, we got a little bit of Chase Collins for ourselves. There's a lot of Collins. Please, please don't match with the Collins. Please, please, please. If it does, I'm- No! Why would you do that straight away? That's his niece. Game, seriously, get a hold of yourself. Uh, I'm sorry, game, website, I don't know. I can't, they've even got the same surname. I'm, it's just too weird. It's too weird, it's too- No, I'm gonna spin it again. I'm sorry, I just can't condone that. It freaks me right out. Chase and Raven. Chase goes back one. Raven. Actually, no DNA shared there because Raven is Abel's child's child. And Abel actually doesn't share any DNA with me and Chase does. It's a really weird ship, but that's kind of the reason we're doing this challenge. And also, there's no DNA shared, so I think we can all rejoice in that. Okay, so we've got one Villarreal, uh, Raven Villarreal, and we've got one Chase Collins. I think the only weird thing about these two would be the age gap. I don't know how they would have met though. Maybe Chase wanted a baby and needed a witch to help him and they ended up falling in love. I don't know. I'm trying to make stories in my head to make this less weird. Okay, that's what all this is about. So let's go ahead. I don't know. Some couples just feel real weird to me. <laughs> they just do. Let's go make a toddler and we'll do one, two. Oh, wow. Three. Oh my gosh. That was lucky because there was definitely a few toddlers there with no faces. And that's not what we're going for. Okay, we'll go one, two, three. Jill. <laughs> Jill Collins. Jill Collins. She sounds like she'd be a journalist. I don't know why, but in my head, it's like Jill Collins. Nice to meet you. And then Raven obviously has pretty freckly skin. She has got uh, ginger hair. She's currently dying it. And wh why can't I see your skin tone? Your skin tone's just here. Where have all my custom skin tones gone? Is it because you're a spellcaster? I don't know, but interesting. It's because I'm noticing the toddler has ended up really pale. But then they both have in-game skin tones, so I don't know. Maybe it's right. And we've got the Villarreal eyes here combined with Chase's. What color is Chase got? Has he got green eyes? No, he's got like pinky purpley eyes. Okay, this is gonna be a real weird- No, it's just pink and purple and pink. Okay, that makes things a little bit easier. I've gone for this color, which is probably a little bit closer to Chase's, but it's somewhere in between. And I can tell by the eyebrows that the game expects the ginger hair to cross over here, which I maybe we'll go for like a strawberry blonde type color. Raven got a lot of fran, which I think is beautiful jeans, really. Real nice jeans there. And I think the um, Collins jeans are are really good as well so this is just this is the potential to be a real spicy meatball that's what i'm saying kind of weird what i'm doing on a toddler but you get what i'm going for this is a kind of in-between ginger 
mushroom blonde. I don't know. Like that? Strawberry blonde. Okay, that to me looks pretty strawberry blonde. So I think that's a pretty... That's probably what we should go for. Seems like a nice in-between. Kind of liking yellow on this kid. So I've gone for some yellow accessories. Okay, so this is Jill Collins. She's super cute. She's strawberry blonde. She's an adorable little toddler. I do think she's got a bit of a... Your toddler sometimes you use a side profile to like judge what kind of face they're gonna have as an adult. So let's see how she looks as a young adult. Okay, three, two, one, kapow, age up. Jill. Jill, Jill, Jill. What an interesting look you've aged up with. Let's just go and remove all your accessories real quick. Take this thing off your chin, please. Not in Wuhan. I was worried about our side profile, but actually it's a pretty good, I mean, it's a weak chin. I, I would definitely make the chin a bit bigger, but other than that, it's a pretty good side profile. I mean, it's a tiny chin. My sims seem to suffer from tiny, tiny chin syndrome though. Just all weak chins everywhere. I guess you've got Ali and I to blame for that somewhere along the line. The beginning. That's a chase eye as well. Just like, you with a bit of a heavier lid is definitely more chasey. Okay, so that's with all the same skin details on. I don't know whether to go for, because her eyes, her eyelids are a little bit bigger. Like, I know it looks a little bit crazy, but sometimes like bigger lashes can help if you've got like a heavier eyelid, especially when I put makeup on her. So let's just try it. Oh, when I do that, I can see. No, I was gonna say I can see sage in her, but it's just the hair. <laughs> oh, that's kind of strawberry blonde, isn't it? Maybe something like that kind of works. She looks kind of sad. That is one thing I will say. I don't know if it's the weird parent in, but she's just like, I, I don't like this genetic mix that I am. <laughs> and I don't know, both of her parents have pretty like strong style preferences. But whenever I have like anything to do with Chase, I like just trying them in like, I don't know, Gucci stuff. She has got really nice lips. Like honestly, look at that lip shape. That's so pretty. I don't know how she would dress though, old Jill. Jill, Jill, Jill. She's got some big old, like almost Lilith style hips I'm kind of seeing there, but hanging out, obviously. I kind of liked how the yellow looked on her as a kid. So I just decided to stick with a bit of yellow, do a nice little floral skirt number. I took some of her heavy makeup off. I don't know why, I just didn't, I didn't love it. From afar, it looked a bit much because she's got a heavier eye, like a heavier eyelid. It just looked really intense. And yeah, I, I actually quite like it. I think because um, I didn't use the skin details of either pair She's ended up looking like a better mix of the two because if she looked a lot like one I'd use the skin details of the other to make her like try and match both of them But because she kind of has a look of both of them I just kind of went ahead and used the skin details of uh, Like not of either of them And I think we've kind of ended up with a nice mix like when I look at her I can see like willow in her which means obviously she's got a lot of chase because that's willow's twin But I can also see like a lot of raven in her as well I think it's actually a pretty good mix good old Jill Collins Let me know what you guys think of her in the comments below but I actually quite like her. I was a bit worried like when I first saw the mix I was like, oh, I'm not gonna like the resulting child of this I think it's just a bit of a strange one, but I've actually ended up liking it quite a lot Let me know what you guys think of Jill and let's go back to our wheel to decide. Okay, so next up we have Who is it gonna be? Cody Jet, okay, excited and don't be weird, don't be weird, don't be weird. Jessica, Jesse Calorie Aiken. Okay. I don't think there's any related DNA there because Cody's parents were Ryder and um, Jake. None of the DNA actually came from Ryder. Ryder is the, D the genetic result of Jesse. So there's no DNA mix, but it's still a whole bucket of weirdness. But I don't know, it could be weird. It could be weirder. So I'm going to give this a go. Hey. Yeah, it is kind of a grandson. But there's no shared DNA. Just just try and ignore the weirdness. Okay, just try it. Just try and put it out of your brains. Don't think about it. And then it's fine. I told you there'll be some weird, weird joining ships in here. Jesse and Cody. Uh, let's go for a boy this time. And we'll do one, two, three. And it's a vampire child. Amazing. Okay, so yours is right there. And Jesse, yours is up here. So we've got this and this. We need to try and find it in between. It's annoying that I have to do this, but the game just does not recognize uh, custom skin types. Ryder has green eyes. Jesse has hazel eyes. So I feel like we can get some nice brownie green in between vibes. It's hard when they're toddlers because they don't have quite as many colors. That's brownie green. It says it's brownie green. Doesn't look brownie green to me though. I guess there's a bit of hazel in the middle. I don't know. The child is a vampire. So I don't mind going a little bit weird with the eyes. And we've got have some little vampire teeth there as well. And he's got some kind of quite mad looking eyebrows. 
I don't know if that's just the angle of them. Angle, angle eyebrows. Yeah, he's gonna be a mad looking kid. I can try and find some that aren't quite as aggressive with the rage, but Jesse's quite blessed in the eyebrow department. So I feel like this kid is gonna have a lot of brow to work with if he chooses to do so. I kind of feel like because this kid is a vampire, you kind of gotta keep it out the sun. So I don't think it will actually get that freckly. I also feel like if it comes to like red hair and brown hair, I know there's a chance that you will still get the red hair passed on, but I feel like it's 25% when you've got all brunette. I don't know. I feel like we're probably gonna go darker with this one. I just feel like the hair, the darker hair would be more likely to be passed on. Okay, so we've got a little vampire child. I love when you look at like his uh, little teeth though, when, when now he's got all his skin details on. Like he's a cute vampire, but he definitely has that kind of otherworldly look about him, which is cute. Okay, so look, I've given him gloves, hat and wellies and full length just to keep him out the sun because I feel like this would be like a real worry when you've got like a little um, vampire child. And honestly, he's super cute. I feel like a Jesse, anything with a bit of Jesse in it and a bit of Cody in it is going to be really cute. And I definitely feel like he is. I'm like screenshotting him like crazy because I think he's adorable. But I like that he's got like a little bit of a naughty look about him. I think that's really, really cute. Okay. Oh, are you going to look? Oh, he didn't give you a name. One, two, three. Ace. Ace Jet. Ace Jet. That you sound like you're meant to be like, I don't know, a fighter pilot in like uh, American movies. Like, oh, I'm Ace Jet puts on his ray bonds, takes them back off again. I, he's got that vibe to him. Let's see how he looks as a young adult. One, two, three. Please, like, you've got some good genes. Look good. Okay, this is adult. Wow, we got a lot of interest in CC going on there, but honestly, I feel like we can make a fun yeah. vampire of this child. Yeah. This boy, this man. Okay, let's go ahead and put his uh, CC back on. Ooh, I'm already getting hyped about this. <laughs> I gave him Cody's eyebrows, because his eyebrows, because he's got Cody eyebrows. Uh, Cody and Jesse, they both have pretty strong brows. I felt like his brows should be a little bit stronger. I feel like this, this is going to be a whole man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this um, this is a handsome handsome guy i kind of want to keep his non uh because i'm going to do a dark form version uh just because we've got a vampire so we might as well so this one i'll keep a little bit plainer so that we can have a bit more fun with the other version he's very man very man jeez this is a good mix right here i kind of i'm seeing a lot of cody but i think that's just because he's, he's a guy sim i think there's more jesse there than you realize i don't want this to go for as well like the hair color we said or like one with like a few like a little bit of lightness through him for cody i think that looks really nice but I think he looks more striking like this. Ace Jet, wow. Look how big he is as well. Hope I'm falling in love with a weird kind of not incest, but also incesty ship. Jeez, hunting for this guy would be so easy. Cause look at his daytime milk. He'd be like, oh, he seems like a nice guy. Like so sweet, like so freaking handsome, adorable. Like literally this is one of the most handsome male sims I think I've ever made. And I didn't even make him a weird incest ship did, but like, and a weird a wheel the incest wheel made it yeah like look at this you're like wow like such a nice handsome guy he's like oh is your tire like does your tire need changing i'll help you change it but actually he is a vampire so i want to kind of i don't want them to be linked because i feel like with this form we can have a little bit of fun you know do you still have your vampire teeth by the way because you should do no get them teeths out there you go. I feel like I've made his outfit so dark that you can barely appreciate him but look at his vampire form you guys look just look at this whole man like how how is this mix so freaking good like this is like the best mix i've ever had in any of these things that we've done ever like it's just such a godly mix i don't understand it i'll just do that real quick while we find him something else to wear like i know i should be super weirded out by this mix because let's face it it's gross but i can't be okay i just can't be i can't be that little floral arms there we go guys Ace Jet, an incredibly beautiful- stop that, you're trying to be human, stop it! An incredibly beautiful human, who you would trust because he seems like a nice guy, but actually, he's a beautiful, murderous vampire with a smile that would melt your heart right before he ate it, because that's just the kind of vibe I get from him. Let me know what you guys think of him in the comments below. <laughs> I honestly think that's my best mix that I've ever done, ever. Like, look at that. Look at his nose. I think he's got a really nice, interesting nose. Like, I like him a lot, okay? And I like that he's a good mix of the two of them, but there's definitely a lot of Cody in there as well. <laughs> Let's do our final one. So we've had Cody and we've had Chase. Now we've got the ladies will be happy. It's a little bit of Nathan's street. 
please don't be incest, please don't be interest, Nathan and Summer. What is their relation? Why can't I figure this out in my head? Summer's parent is Connor, Nathan's parent's Noelle, Connor and Charlie Rose. Okay, it's definitely in the same family tree, I'm afraid, but this is a challenge and sometimes challenge challenges present us with weird things. I said as long as it wasn't a direct line that I would have to do it because of part of the challenge. I'm sorry, I realized there's some very, very odd ships coming out here to haunt us all. Summer has some good genes though, so she's a good one to throw in the mix. I'm trying to find a younger Nathan. Okay, there's a Nathan right there. Let's go ahead and pop him in. Sorry, Bella. <laughs> You are gonna be swapped. Oh my gosh, both of Nathan's ships- Summer's not one of his ships, let's just put that out there. But both of them have dated Fran. Kind of weird. In fact, Fran right there. It's a shame we didn't get to use Fran jeans, because I like Fran jeans, but... We still got some interesting mixes. Okay, so I feel like this could actually be a really good mix if you ignore the family ties. Oh man, I feel like I'm breeding dogs right now. My game's starting to slow right down. Summer and Nathan. And we'll do another girl this time. So let's pop her into toddler form. Wow, very similar right there. And then one. Ooh. Ooh, light flickering. We're in, there's a storm in the UK right now. And I just really hope that doesn't mean something's falling on a power line nearby. Okay, one, two. <coughs> oh, very summer. Three. Okay, interesting mix. And the name for this mix is one, two, three. Devon. Devon is a girl. Devon is a girl. Okay, interesting. Let's take off all of, uh, oh my gosh, the light's flickering so much. I'm gonna save. Storm, Storm Kia, Ciara, Kiara. Storm Kiara. Uh, but where we live, there's, it's, we're like in a forest, um, and the trees outside our house are doing this, and they're like huge, huge, like, pine ash tree things. And it's kind of scary, um, the dogs don't even want to go outside today, so I'm a little bit concerned. Okay, this is not the right skin mix, so let's have a little look. Look, we've got. I know this isn't actually how skin works. I'm much more closer to my dad's skin tone. My brother is my mum's skin tone. But for the sake of Sims, I just like to try and do something in the middle because it doesn't do a proper mix. So Nathan's kind of pale. Nathan's here and I think Summer's, Summer's there. So why don't we go here as a kind of in between? I think that could be a good mix. The kid has blonde eyebrows and it's given him in-game blonde eyebrows. So I'm kind of vibing maybe... I don't think you would get blonde, but we've not had any blonde blondes. We've done brown, we've done strawberry blonde. Let's go blonde blonde for this child. Plus the last time I mixed Summer's jeans, I mixed them with Seiji and I feel like black hair would definitely have taken over in this mix. This one's a little bit more up in the air because Noelle's hair is lighter than Nathan's. So I feel like it's okay to go a bit fairer for this one. Otherwise, all my blonde jeans just like never, I never get to play with blonde jeans, will I? Summer's got beautiful big blue eyes. Nathan's got gorgeous hazel eyes. Kind of a tough mix. If I go blue, what we'll end up with is a carbon copy of Summer. So I actually think we should go uh, hazel. I think then we get a better mix of the two. And then the skin tone is a little bit more similar to Summer's and it's gonna have blonde hair like Summer. So I feel like maybe we go for a little bit more Nathan's skin details. Also, Nathan's got a really nice nose. What nose have you got? Overlay here. The first overlay by Obscurus. I might go ahead and transfer those over. I don't think I can do it as a child, but they are gonna be, that's gonna be a, a nice mix, you know? I'm really hoping we keep Summer eyes because, um, I just think they're really nice eyes. And I actually am not a huge fan of the Nathan eyes. Looking at her right now, I feel like it is very summer, which I think is a good thing. Honestly, summer brings some strong gene contenders to the table. I feel like no matter what, this kid is gonna be pretty cute. So Rose vibes right there. I also feel like summer would definitely go quite like cute glamour on her child. I just feel like, like she's a famous actress. This child's probably grown up in the spotlight. So I kind of want that to come through as well. Oh my gosh, yes, cute, cute, cute. I know I go for this dress a lot, but like, seriously, look at this dress. It's freaking adorable. And oh my gosh, Summer. I wanted to do the storyline with the babies that I did with Summer and I'm glad I stuck to it even with the pressure. But it is sad that we've lost that mix because look how pretty Summer's kids are. And that is a very Summer kid right there. Like, I can see so much Summer in this child. Okay, little Devon, you're an adorable toddler. Your side profile is pretty good. I feel like we could have a real nice mix. I'm hoping a little bit more Nathan comes through as she grows up. But let's go ahead and turn Devon into a young adult. Okay, three, two, one, kapow. 
Okay, we've lost a lot of the CCs. Let me just, I mean, we've gone for purple eyebrows, but this is a very summer mix. But those eyes, those aren't Summer's eyes, I'm pretty sure. Summer has Erica eyes. Like if I take off, I th I really did think she had the makeup, but look, if I take off her eyes, you see how she has a very like, honestly the skin details giving her a little bit of a lid, but I'm pretty sure Summer is monolided. So those are Nathan eyes. In fact, there is a lot more Nathan in this child than I originally thought. She's got very archy brows. So it's kind of it's sort of difficult to find some that look not angry all the time. <laughs> Maybe she is angry all the time. Maybe we shouldn't try and take that away from her, you know? I mean, her dad is a criminal. He straightened himself out for Bella. Would he have straightened himself out for Summer? Or would he have used her lifestyle to his advantage? I don't know. This is the skin details Nathan has. It's kind of very Maxis matchy though. I have Nathan's nose, but I don't know if I like it. Oh, this is tough. I'm finding this sim. It was a beautiful toddler, but I'm I'm struggling to like replicate that into adulthood. We've got good genes though. There's no reason for us not to have like not to make this amazing. Honestly though, because it's it's so Nathan. Because look, can you see Noelle? <gasps> the anger eyebrows are from Noelle. Okay, I think I need to go for more of summer sim summer skin details. Or else we're gonna lose too much summer. So it's Goo Goo Overlay, which is the baby one, but I actually love it, so I don't mind that at all. Oh my gosh, so much Noelle if I put that skin to my own. I wanna see more summer. <laughs> How did it transform from Summer into Nathan this hard? I don't understand. I just wanted to put a lipstick on just to show that the Nathan, Charlie Rose, Noelle lips are strong. I mean, she's kind of pulling off that lipstick, I'm not gonna lie. But th this is just Noelle. Like, I'm literally just looking at Noelle. I'm gonna try Summer's eyebrows just to like, desperately clutch a little bit more Summer back. I'm kind of wishing we'd gone for blue eyes because then at least I'd be able to see a little bit of summer. I just don't think blue eyes would have won that race. I don't think. Uh, we've still got the blonde hair. Oh my gosh, it's Noelle. It is pure Noelle. Wow. I actually reckon if I showed you guys this sim with no context, I feel like you'd be able to do the parents. I do. I'm gonna go glam on her because she is Summer's daughter. So I feel like we can. Honestly, because she's in the same line, she's got like double Salma bod jeans. So she was always gonna end up with a bod, but she's got a full on like Hollywood starlet kind of bod. But I feel like Nathan's pretty tall. So I feel like she'd be taller than Summer. I'm gonna make her a little bit taller as well. At least in my head, Nathan's tall. He's not like ridiculously tall, but he he's taller. And oh my gosh, I actually love her. She's so freaking beautiful. Devon Calorie Aching Gang. She is definitely a pretty special sim. Like, I actually just love her. I feel like she would have been Summer's daughter and then probably gone on to be even more famous than Summer. Cause like, look at this girl, look at this girl. She's ridiculous. Both her and Ace, I could spend all day just like dressing up and staring at. They look so different to each other, but I actually love them. So guys, we've got three mixes. We've got Raven and Chase, uh, who ooh, she's lost a hand along the way, which I think you can tell in her face, but she looks kind of sad that the mix ever took place. I'm not gonna lie. And then we've got Jesse and Cody, the, probably the weirdest mix, even though they don't actually share any DNA, but the resulting child is both beautiful and also terrifying which we like we like it we like to stand one foot in each side you know on the edge of kind of madness and then we've got why is your name just a line devon calorie aiken here who is the ultimate hollywood starlet like i mean look at her She's Hollywood royalty and she doesn't even exist. Like, wow, she is insane. Guys, let me know what you think of them all. Let me know who's your favorite. If you would like me to do this challenge again, let me know in the comments below. I think my favorite has to be uh, Devon, cause like, wow, she's ridiculous. But I also really, really love Ace as well. Jill, I think is adorable, ah. but I think she looks the least happy with the mix. <laughs> I don't know if it's just the sad eyebrows, but she looks a little bit confused about why she exists. Let me know in the comments below as well and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to catch more and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!